I'm going to show you a couple of quick ways to measure mouthpieces when you don't have a calipers handy. My basic tools are a pencil and a quarter. Let's start with that. The first thing most of us worry about is the cup size of the mouthpiece. So here's the mouthpiece I played on for a long time, the WIC 4AL. If I drop it in this way, I can get a very quick look at the cup depth. That is how far on my thumb, if you will, that the quarter sits inside the cup. On a Bach 4G, you'll see it's somewhat similar. As it is with my Alliance DC4, which is interesting to me because the Alliance actually feels a little smaller on my lips. Here's a Bach 5G. Now there we're starting to see some difference. It doesn't go down quite as far. And the Bach 6.5 AL, clearly it doesn't go down as far. You can also measure this way how far the quarter extends out of the cup. Going to the 5G, we don't have as much extension. With the DC4, we have even less. It barely sticks out at all. I'm jumping to the WIC 4AL, and again, it barely extends. That's a quick way to assess one aspect of the mouthpiece. Another design consideration for the mouthpiece is the back bore. That's inside the shank here how broad it is, how big the hole is, if you will. First of all, the hole is actually the throat. It goes from the top side. The back bore is the part after the throat that comes out the shank. A wider back bore can give you a bigger sound, but can also negatively affect your endurance. This is the Bach 4G. I'm going to put the pencil in until it stops. Put my fingernail there as a placeholder. And go to my WIC 4AL. Very close, but as you can see, the wick is actually slightly narrower, or appears to be, because the pencil doesn't go in quite as far. If I look at the Alliance DC4, I haven't hit bottom yet, and yet my thumb is there, so I'd have to, if I were going to compare, I'd start with the Alliance. Measure it, and we'll take the Bach, measure it, and you can see the difference in insertion there. By where my thumb is. Another use of the pencil would be to measure the cup depth, although this would be a combination now of the cup depth and the size of the throat. The deeper the cup and the broader the throat, the more the pencil will go inside. So I'll put it in here, try to mark it with my thumbnail again. Let's go way to the other end and pick up the box 6.5 AL. Pretty huge difference there. Take the 5G, which is a more moderate choice. The difference is not quite as great. If I take my Alliance for DC4 that I'm playing now, there it's about identical to the wick. This combination may be fairly important. The depth of the cup and the size of the throat will affect the sound and how it feels. As with the back bore, the larger the sound the mouthpiece gives you, the more it may hamper your endurance. So it takes longer to build up your strength on a larger mouthpiece, one that gives you a larger sound. That's kind of logical and it seems fair in the grand scheme of things. So there you have it. Three quick tests if you want to compare two mouthpieces or three mouthpieces and don't know for sure what the measurements are. And even if you do, back bore, for example, is very tough to measure um, because it's a shape. It's not just a size. And the pencil gives you a little bit of an idea how that works. So between the pencil and the quarter, you can get a very quick sense of how the mouthpiece is different in design. But the ultimate test, of course, is to play it and see how it sounds and works for you. I hope you found this tip helpful. Thanks for listening.